do you find sometimes that your relationship is becoming stagnant? Sometimes when you get comfortable with your special significant other, you find yourselves missing out on that old romance that brought you together in the first place. But there are a few things that you can do to put the spark back into the fire and find out exactly what brought you together in the first place. Sometimes the little things do count and you can show each other through the little gestures. Today, I'll be sharing with you 10 things that you can do to spice up your relationship. And once you put it in, once you put in practice whatever I'm going to be sharing with you today, trust me, you are going to change a whole lot about your relationship. I welcome you back onto our YouTube channel. I know most of you are wondering who is this. My name is Liz and I'm the queen of the Dawiji family. For those who have subscribed, we are so grateful to you. We thank you. For those who haven't, you're missing out. You're missing out. So don't forget to subscribe. Tap onto the notification bell. Like, comment and share our videos. I welcome you all onto a happy space that is going to give you information about family, relationship, lifestyle and anything in between let's get right into the video number one leave notes for example if your partner is going for work you can write a small quick note and put it into their pockets or in their bag to wish them a lovely day or to wish them good luck maybe on their presentation or their promotion or their job interview whichever and if you're at home you can always take notes anywhere where your partner can always read or find them for example you can stick a note in the bathroom mirror and that alone can start their morning Always stay spontaneous by leaving a heartfelt message for them to find as they go about their everyday life. And as we are in the society that revolves around technology, spending an extra time to handwrite that small note will mean a lot to your partner and that alone can ignite your romance. Number two, unplug from your devices. We are in a world where technology has taken over it's very hard to find someone who doesn't have a phone, television or a laptop. Phones have become our best friends and our worst distraction when it comes to interacting with our significant other. There is nothing more annoying and in person trying to share your day with your significant other just for them to answer you occasionally through scrolling over their phones. It is very annoying and destructive and if you want to bring back that spark in your relationship you have to put phones away once you're with your partner when you come back home or you have gone out to spend time with your partner switch off your devices anything that can bring in any distraction if it is work make sure you complete it before you come back home or before you go out on a date with your partner otherwise you will know you give divided attention to your partner once you're at home Enjoy quality time together. Switch off the TV, switch off your phones and your laptops and enjoy spending and talking with your partner. Number three, put in an effort to understand each other's hobbies. We all have different hobbies. We do have different things that we would love or spend our time with. The act of supporting your partner in the things they love is sweet, but an attempt to understand a little bit more on the things our partners love is key. Let us not try to hold our partners back from the things we want just because we are in a relationship. If you want to bring back that spark in your relationship, you have to put in a little effort to understand what they love. For example, if your partner is into football, try as much as you can to support them. And also, try to learn a thing or two about football. If your partner loves acting, support them, learn something about it. And if it means you going ahead to connect them to the people that can help them develop their career, that will be better. Let us not hold our partners from enjoying the things they used to enjoy just because we are in a relationship with them. 
Number four, revisit the places that you used to both love. It can be a mall, it can be a garden, it can be a park, it can be a restaurant, it can be a cafe, or any place that you used to both love, that you used to go to during your process of dating. As we are trying to bring back the spark in the relationship, hmm, try to go back to those places. Okay, go back to the place you first met your partner. Or you can go back to that place where you had your first date. You can go back to the place where you guys had your first kiss. And trust me, once you go back to those places, they will always bring back those old memories, those old feelings and emotions. And that is a great way to start. Number five, create new traditions. As you're trying to spice up your relationship, find ways on how to introduce new traditions in your relationship. Things that you haven't been doing as a couple, which maybe have been taken for granted, but have the potential to bring you closer and bringing back that spark in your relationship. For example, you can have a game nights or game day. You can have prayer days. You can have um, movie nights. You can have pizza nights. You can have um, porridge nights. That has reminded me of the good old times. We used to have that when we used to be at campus. So get those traditions that you can incorporate in as a couple and Introduce something which you know you can stick with as a couple. Don't bring something which you're going to ditch anytime. For example, you can choose a day for movie night. So you say, maybe on a Friday, we shall always have our movie nights. Make it every time, every week. Like every week, on a Friday, we shall have a movie time. And to have more fun doing or having your movie time, instead of going online to look for the movies, you can do a stroll in the in the video libraries try to pick out try to pick out the movie and once you pick out that movie come back home prepare the jinx prepare the popcorns that you need for that movie i remember there's a time me and my love at times you know we are somebody we are we are really fans of watching movies so sometimes like when a movie comes out a new movie we would go in those video libraries to look for those movies that was really a very good time. We had a lot of good time doing that. And whenever I would come back home, sit down, watch the movie, it was really, really so interesting. And that alone, every time, I remember the time, because we have a pile of movies. So every time I look at them, I'm like, oh, these are the things we used to enjoy with love. Eh? So that alone brings back the spark eh, in your relationship. And number six, get intimate again. Most couples, when they have spent a lot of time together, they tend to neglect the power of intimacy. Never underestimate the power of a physical touch. It can be a kiss. It can be a hug. Um, it can be a cuddle. And it can be a good love making. If you're trying to spice up your relationship, to bring back that old romance, do not neglect physical touch. Do not neglect physical touch. Most people take it for granted. Be like, no, I have spent a lot of time with this person. And I believe they know me so. Hmm? You get, we tend to neglect it. But if you're trying to bring back that spark in your relationship, bring back the physical touch in your relationship. Have a good time cuddling with your partner. Number seven, dress sex here. Is there an outfit that your partner finds attractive once you put it on? Or is it a color that once you put it on, your partner finds it flattering and enticing? Try putting it on. Most couples neglect the fact that they used to put in an effort during the process of dating. If you're trying to bring back the spark in your relationship, Consider putting on something very nice and enticing for your partner. For the ladies, you can spice things up by putting on a nice lingerie for your partner. Sometimes when you talk about putting on sexier, people think put on those mini skirts, mini shorts, go out. No, we are meaning put on those nicest 
sexy thing for your partner. When you get out, put on your normal clothes, very nice long clothes. But when you're with your partner, dress sexier. And this alone will help you to bring back that spark in your relationship. Imagine you come back home and your partner is putting on an enticing outfit. Trust me, even if you had a rough day, even if you are, even if you aren't in the moods, trust me, you'll be in the moods because you are being turned on and you find them attractive, and that alone brings out the nice feelings and nice emotions you had for each other. And yeah, we enjoy the thing called love. Number eight, take a romantic bath together. If I may ask, do you take a bath with your partner or you just go? Mm hmm. <laughs> so as you're trying to bring back that spark in your relationship, consider having a romantic night bath together. You know, most couples, um, they neglect that because sometimes you find they have no time, they are so busy. But having or spending a nice time in the shower with your partner can create beautiful, everlasting memories together. And trust me, you can never forget those memories. And that alone can bring back that spark. Hmm? Number nine, surprise each other. It can be a gift, for example, a bouquet of flowers, a gift hamper, shoes, cloth, watch, whichever that can do for you and your partner. Or you can have a well-prepared candlelight dinner or an organized house. Imagine you had a stressful day, you had a stressful long day, and you come back home to a well-prepared candlelight dinner and a well-prepared home. You know the joy you will feel when someone thought of you even in your absence. That feeling alone of you being on someone's mind even in your absence will bring back the spark in your relationship. The little things that you do, it may not necessarily mean you have to surprise your partner with an extremely expensive gift. Just small, small little things. For example, you can get like sweets. We may think they're very small things. But the mere fact that you thought of your partner and bought them maybe like a sweet, an ice cream, giving them a small, thoughtful gift like a pen, a book. Those are little things that we look and like, ah, those are too small. Number 10. Spend time apart. Someone may wonder, you're trying to bring back the spark in your relationship. Why would I need time apart from my partner? Here is the reason why. Sometimes we do not recognize how much we care for our partners until we miss them. And the truth is, it is difficult to appreciate someone who is always around. If you're always and constantly around your partner it will be very difficult for you to recognize and appreciate them the way you would if you're a little bit far away from them this does not mean that you guys are not in good terms or you're having issues or you no longer love yourselves it just means you trust your partner enough to give them time to go and do whatever they want with their free time remember your life does not only revolve around your relationship. You have to consult your partner in whatever you're doing. So spending a little time apart, it doesn't mean years or days or weeks. It can be just a few hours. For example, you go out in the morning to either see a family member, a relative, a friend, or you are just going to enjoy your hobby. That little time you spend away from your partner will make you miss them and will make you anxious to, to meet them. And once you meet them, for example, you went in the morning, you come back in the evening, and you, meet, and you meet them, you'll be eager to share and trust them how your day was compared to, to if you had stayed in the house the whole day. And always remember, not to be a nagging partner. Once your partner has gone somewhere, do not be nagging. Let them go and have fun as long as they're doing the right thing. Thank you so much for listening and viewing me. We are so glad that you have supported us from the beginning and up to now. 
we are so grateful for those who have been subscribed you know what to do please don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're always updated on the videos that we load and don't forget to like share comment uh, on our videos we love you so much we the berry family are so glad and so blessed have a nice time